against the punishment. Well, the whole subject drew literally hundreds of calls to person to person this week. Here now is John Turner. You only have to look at all these posters here to realise what a deep shadow of despair is hanging over the supporters of Swindon Town Football Club. Just a few weeks ago, they were riding high after their Wembley triumph. The whole town joined in the celebrations at the promotion to Division One. Then came the shattering blow, the announcement that Swindon Town were to be demoted, not by one division, but by two. The club had admitted making 35 unauthorised payments to players. The supporters, though, argued the punishment was far too severe. I think it's absolutely heartbreaking for a family club of well-behaved supporters in a town like Swindon, who has the need of a good football club, to have let them go through the playoffs and then that knock them down was pure sadism. When all's said and done, it's the supporters that are losing out in this whole Swindon affair. The players can go off and play for other clubs. The manager can go and go manage other clubs. But I couldn't go and support Oxford or Reading or one of the Bristols. It would break my heart not to be able to watch Swindon anymore. In fact, one of the most striking features of the Swindon Town supporters is the strong family atmosphere. Some of those most upset by the whole affair are those too young to really understand what's happened. Oh, I think it's bad. They should have got a fine or something, not relegated or anything like that. What do you think? Do you think they should be demoted to Division 3? No, it should be the people who are guilty of the accusations that should be punished and not the supporters and the actual team. But a number of callers to person to person this week believed that Swindon Town deserved all it got. I think they're very, very lucky people to be in the third division. Uh, I should settle for that if I were them. Uh, they should uh, learn from the antics of their previous chairman who uh, received a six-month ban and then appealed and got three years. Uh, I'd learn from that if I were them and uh, keep quiet and uh, take your medicine, you know. Another caller to person to person this week was in a unique position to comment on Swindon's demotion. He's Arnold Blades, the secretary of Peterborough United Football Club, the only other club in England to have been demoted within the league. It happened to them in 1967. The place was dead. It was just as though we'd closed down. But um, we gradually recovered from the initial shock. And uh, financially, that's where we really suffered. And that's what I meant when I said we haven't recovered from it. It is the financial implications that are the problems. Do you it believe us... that uh, Swindon Town can actually have any complaints whatsoever about how they're being treated now? No, none whatsoever. In fact, I believe the Commission have treated them extremely fair in accordance with the regulations of the Football League and the evidence that they had to work with. As far as football hooliganism is concerned, it's certainly the clubs which have to bear the consequences if their fans are at fault. It seems like these which are continuing to jeopardise the return of English clubs to European competition. So, isn't it fair that it should work both ways? Shouldn't the fans have to take the punishment along with the club? You've just got to take it on the chin, accept that a club is responsible for the behaviour of its directors, staff, supporters at all times, and sometimes it's very, very hard for a club to accept the behaviour of supporters, you know. They get us into many problems in the same way as the people at the top have got Swindon in a problem. Well, obviously, the fans here at Swindon will never, ever be convinced that justice has really been done. Their hopes now rest in the High Court in London, and it's there that they'll decide whether the fans who sit in these seats next year are watching first or third division football. We're back on another subject with Person to Person next week. <laughs>